Hello. Today on this vlog, what you're going to see is we're going to discuss how to solve equations that contain fractions, various fractions that is, as well as grouping symbols. You see them here as parentheses around the y plus 3. The equation we have here is y divided by 2 minus 1 equals 5 6 times the quantity y plus 3 plus a half. What's new in this vlog is the fact that we have fractions with the grouping symbols. Like in the past, when concerning fractions, we will use the lowest common multiple to handle the fractions in this equation. Now, with these two denominators, we have 6 and we have 2. So we're going to find the, mul the multiples of 6 and the multiples of 2. 6 times 1, 6 times 2, 6 times 3, and then 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, and so forth. And we'll look for different multiples that match across the two lists. As you can see here, we have two choices to consider. Both lists contain the, mult the fact the number 12 as well as 6. When concerning the 12, if you look at the 12, the 12 is not the lowest common multiple, but 6 is the lowest common multiple. So we're going to choose to use the 6 and multiply the full equation, both left and right sides, by, by 6. As you can see, I took the 6 and I multiplied each term by 6. Well, 6 over 1 exactly is a fraction. Now, the, I want to call your attention to the fact that in the middle here, we have 6 over 1 times 5 sixth. In the past, we'd, be, we'd want to distribute that 5 sixth or the number in front of the parentheses but we're going to multiply the fractions here first and then distribute that number over the y plus 3.
As you can see here, I'll check my work. I can have mistakes same as you can. We're all human. We have six y, six times y is six y. One times two is two, okay? The next term would be six times one is six. One times one is one. Then we have the equal sign. And then we have six over one times five over six. Multiplying numerators and denominators, we have 30 over six. That works out. Now we have the parentheses here, y plus three. On the other side, we have six over one multiplied with one half and it becomes six halves. And now we're ready to reduce our fractions. Now you can see that we've reduced our fractions and they have no more fractions left, where the fractions have disappeared in effect. We're going to distribute the 5 over the quantity y plus 3 now. And now combining like terms, on the left side and the right side, we've simplified to both sides. And now it's time to really to have the constants, constant terms on one side of the equal sign and the variable terms on the other side of the equal sign. I see that we have 3y and 5y. I need to make a decision. I could subtract 5y and then subtract to from, from 3y, or I can subtract 3y from both sides. My understand, if I look at it, I know 5y minus 3y will be a positive 2y. So I'm going to approach it that way. And now we have negative 6 equals 2y plus 18. If you remember, we want to isolate y to solve for y. So y is with 2, as 2 times y, and then we have positive 18 plus 18. First, we'll subtract 18 from both sides because we have to keep it balanced. We can't ignore the other side of the equation, so we have to subtract 18 on the right side as well as the left side. Now we can see we have 2y equals negative 24. At this point, the y still is not by itself. So we have 2 times y. The opposite would be divide by 2, correct? And that way we have the coefficient equals 1, and we essentially have y equaling an answer. Now, we have negative 12 equals y. 
Our y is isolated, and we have the answer negative 12. That's my answer so far. It has not been confirmed. Uh, we have to check the answer. Now, when you check an answer, you have to go back into the original equation.